Today is going to be a very short video. We're going to be looking at some Kennedy half dollar coins from 1995 that are worth a lot more than 50 cents. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin videos here on the channel. We are uploading every single day showing you guys coins to look for from the bank and your pocket change or even in a coin collection that you may have inherited from a family member. So as always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off first with a 1995 Kennedy half dollar coin, 50 cent coin, that sold on eBay for around $90 at auction. So the coin has a mint error. It has been broad struck, which you'll see around the rim of the coin there. A pretty noticeable mint error, something like this, you know, uh, uh, you don't need a coin microscope to see. You just look around the rim of the coin and see how thick and, uh, you know, smashed out it is, I guess you could say. Uh, is a <laughs> great terminology for a video, uh, smashed out, uh, but you guys know what I'm saying. It's been broad struck. The coin here is graded by Annex at a Mint State 65. So you got different coin grading companies out there. You got PCGS, NGC, Annex, ANACS here. Uh, so those are the three that, you know, I would recommend for different reasons. Uh, sometimes you want to go with one over the other. If one coin is super valuable or if a coin is not so valuable, maybe go with a different company. I actually just did a whole coin grading video that I uploaded on my channel showing you guys how to grade your coins. So feel free to watch that. Now, like I said, only 90 bucks for that coin. Now here is another example of that. So we have a, a coin that has been broad struck out of collar. It is the 1995 Kennedy half dollar coin. Now this coin is graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64. Better looking broad strike. It's uh, one grade lower. However, this coin is graded by PCGS. And of course it's going to sell for a little more being graded by PCGS as opposed to Annex. And this coin actually sold for a lot more. This coin sold for over $310. So not too bad for 50 cents, huh? Let's move on here to a 1995 D mint mark that sold for $2,500 at auction. It is graded by PCGS at a mint state 68. And that is where all of its value is coming from is that mint state 68 grade. Uh, you know, if there's thousands of these coins graded at a Mint State 67, just one grade lower, and there's only like a handful graded at a Mint State 68 in the world, then that is like supply and demand, right? It's called grade population. If there's only five that exist in this condition, or you know, one that exists in this condition, people are, are gonna pay crazy money to get it, to add it to their collection. And this is an older PCGS holder as well. Typically coins and the older holders uh, do bring a premium, um, but you know, there are collectors out there, uh, you know, that will say, uh, you know, they weren't as harsh about grading in, uh, with the coins and the older holders, or maybe they were harsher, you know, things like that. So there's all kinds of different uh, philosophies and uh, about the older holders, right? Um, but this is a very, very nice coin, $2,500 in that condition at that 68 grade. Now here is a coin from 1995 that has been broad struck, which you'll see around the rim of the coin, kind of like the first two coins we looked at. Uh, but it also has been double struck as well. So the design has been double struck and that's why this coin ended up selling for over $125 at auction. And it is graded by NGC at a Mint State 67. Now here's a 1995 Kennedy half dollar that was struck 10% off center. The coin ended up selling at auction for around $95, graded at a Mint State 64 by NGC. So again, something like this, you don't need a coin microscope, especially this next coin here. This is a very obvious mint error, an off center error, struck 55% off center, graded by NGC at a Mint State 62. This half dollar coin ended up selling for around $590 at auction. Can you believe that? Man, almost a $600 coin there. Now here is the 1995 P mint mark that is graded at a mint state 68. The other coin that we looked at that was the very high grade was the D mint mark. So this is an example of the P mint mark at that same grade. And this coin ended up selling for over $1,000, $1,100 to be exact for a 50 cent coin, all because of its condition, that grade, that Mint State 68. Now this next coin here has a perfect grade. However, this is not the regular business strike half dollars that you know you typically go to the bank and get a roll of half dollars. 
This is actually a proof coin. So this is the coins that you will find in your proof sets. Proof coins are much different. Uh, they're typically lower minted. They'll have that shiny mirror like finish and be much more detailed. And this coin is graded at a perfect grade, a proof 70 deep cameo by the coin grading company PCGS. And that's why this coin sold for $320 at auction. So this coin that sold for $320 is not silver. But this next coin, we have the same date, 1995 S Mint Mark, perfect grade, proof 70, deep cameo. However, this one is the silver version. So we have the non-silver and silver. And this coin ended up selling at auction for $370. So about a $50 difference there between those two coins. So feel free to check out my other half dollar coin videos here on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.